Welcome to Matt's Profit Pursuit. I'm Matt. I'm a part-time reseller. I source the Goodwill bins and I sell on eBay and I make what sold videos so you know what's selling right now on eBay and I break down those sales so you see how much you can make after fees, cost of goods, shipping, and taxes are taken out. Today's Sunday. I got nine orders going out and I've already made this video so I already packed the orders. Um, I tried to change the format of my videos to get a better quality video but the app I used to edit these videos it was too big of a file or something didn't work I'm not a tech guy so here I am redoing it just in regular HD instead of 4k 8k I don't even know what we're at right now I don't know I'm gonna try to guess the items so this item I think this is a Beavers jersey this is a Nike Oregon State Beavers youth football jersey I paid 65 cents for it and it sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $23.54 minus $3.21 for the transaction fee and $4.09 for the shipping label. That leaves me with $16.24. It's a pair of shoes. They're sideways, so these would be the high top. These are a pair of high top vans. High top vans sell often. I paid $1.95 for these, and they are a youth size, so they only sold for $12 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $22.77, minus $1.77 for the sales tax, $3.11 for the transaction fee, and $8.30 for the shipping label. That leaves me with $9.59. This is a pair of um, Lucky Brand jeans. I paid $2.20 for these jeans and they sold for $14 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $24.78 minus $178 for the sales tax, $3.36 for the transaction fee, and $7.60 for the shipping label. That leaves me with $12.04. These are a pair of vans. These are the low top old school vans with the Loteria print. And Loteria is like a Mexican bingo card game. I paid $2.13 for these and they sat around for a while so I took an offer of $10 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $19 even, minus $2.65 for the transaction fee, $8.30 for the shipping label, and $2.09 for the ad fee. And that leaves me with five dollars and ninety six cents. Is there a pair of Nike SB uh, Chikowski, Janowski, Chikosi, Jimmy Changa? The shoes are they're white, but they're super dingy and dirty. They can still sell. Um, they usually sell Converse and Vans that way. The the Nike skate shoe. There's some people who like that style. I paid two dollars and forty cents for these shoes, and they sold for sixteen dollars plus shipping. The buyer is all in at thirty five dollars and twenty cents. Minus $2.15 for the sales tax, $4.65 for the transaction fee, and $8.30 for the shipping label. That leaves me with $20.10. This. I think this is the jersey, but <laughs> for the sake of going with what else sold, uh, three toddler Carhartt shirts. These were my kids' shirts, and they've already been passed down. And my youngest has outgrown them, so I sold them for $19.59. The buyer is all in at $21.29, minus $170 for the sales tax, $293 for the transaction fee, $504 for the shipping, and $266 for the ad fee. That leaves me with $8.96. This is a 1991 WCW Lex Luger card. Again, I enjoy looking through cards and buying them in bulk and looking and searching through them this one sold for 145 free shipping i have less than a penny into each of my cards but i do not recommend people doing this the buyer is all in at one dollar and 55 cents minus 10 cents for the sales tax 49 cents for the transaction fee 63 cents for the shipping label and i did not realize that i had an ad on this one so it took over half the profit, which isn't much to begin with, and 19 cents. I'm left with 14 whole cents. Yeah, buddy. This is a, um, what's that brand? A Studson uh, baseball style cap. 
I paid 30 cents for this hat and it sold for $16 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $20.85 minus $2.87 for the transaction fee and $4.69 for the shipping label. That leaves me with $13.29. And this is a pair, uh, like a headset, headphone thing. This is a Jabra or Yabra Evolve 40 headset. I paid 40 cents for it and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. The buyer is all in at $26.49, minus $125 for the sales tax, $357 for the transaction fee, and $678 for the shipping. That leaves me with $14.89. With those items, my total sales are $127.02. After fees, I'm left with $101.21, minus the cost of goods of $10.03. Then I'm left with $91.18, uh, minus 25%, which is $22.79. Then I'm left with $68.39 from my initial investment of $10.03. No real high priced items. I'm running a 30% off sale. Um, I'm promoting my listings and I'm taking offers just to get things moving and out of the store to get some money coming in. And my new goal is to list at least five items a day. Um, I always tend to struggle. Uh, you know, I'll do one a day, then I'll do five, then I'll do ten, then I'll, I'm kind of all over the place trying to do just five, uh, at least five, and see see how that helps. Uh, but I also want more time during the week, so I'm listing 12 items a day on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. or making 12 listings, listing 5 of those, so I have 7 extra each day on those 3 days. That gives me at least 5 uh, Monday through Friday. Uh, if I have time during the week, I will list during the week, and anything that's left over, I may just dump it all and list it all on Friday. So we'll see. It's only been a few weeks, and it's going pretty good. But it's 100 degrees out today in Oregon, and I'm in my hot garage, and I still have to list those items. I've been outside working in my chicken coop area all day, which has been fun in the heat. But that's it. This is going to be a super fast video, because I'm just <laughs> trying to get through this. Because, again, I had to redo it a few times. But I really appreciate you for watching. I hope these videos help where you see the breakdown of each sale. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if they do help. I really appreciate it. I'm trying to grow the channel and get the information out to as many people as possible. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace.